John Eklund's magnetic shield device that has gained fame for its unique approach to harnessing magnetic potential energy. Despite its popularity, there seems to be a lack of comprehensive explanations available on platforms like YouTube, leaving enthusiasts and researchers wanting for a clearer understanding. The device, as depicted in drawings and explanations, consists of horseshoe magnets, a steel plate, and a cleverly designed mechanism involving magnetic shielding material. The core principle behind Eklund's generator is the exploitation of magnetic forces through the strategic use of shielding. The horseshoe magnets, with like magnets, with like poles facing each other, create a magnetic attraction towards the steel plate position between them. Crucially, this plate is connected to a mechanism involving springs, allowing it to move in and out. The key innovation lies in the introduction of magnetic shielding material represented by red sections in the diagrams. When one side of the steel plate is blocked by the shielding material, the other side is attracted by the magnet, creating a reciprocating motion. The reciprocating motion of the steel plate is then utilized to spin a wheel connected to a generator, ultimately producing electrical power. The success of this system hinges on the careful selection of the magnetic shielding material. The red portions of the diagram need to be made of effective magnetic shielding material to ensure the blocking and unblocking of the magnetic field work seamlessly. This underscores the importance of understanding and identifying the right material for optimal performance. Eklund's magnetic shielding generator demonstrates a novel and mechanical approach to harnessing magnetic potential energy. The key lies in the clever use of magnetic shielding material, which, when strategically deployed, results in reciprocating motion and subsequent power generation. However, the device's effectiveness is contingent on identifying the appropriate magnetic shielding material, emphasizing the need for further exploration and understanding in this area of magnetic energy utilization.